Hey guys, what is up and welcome back <clears throat> to another episode of the Minecraft CTM app, The Painter. Uh, last time we got cucked really hard in the Pinnacle Catacombs. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Uh, off camera, I managed to still get like an entire inventory worth of loot, even though, you know, I lost a whole bunch of stuff. Managed to get like two more stacks of iron, uh, some more food, some more weapons and armor and stuff. Um, and as you can see here, I've swapped out my weapons and my armor. And that is because I, uh, uh, because now we're going to be taking on a new Matica, which is that void area. And I'm not going to be, uh, wasting my good resources on new Matica, especially since I don't want to lose all my shit. You know what I mean? So pretty much, uh, so as we can see here, you got the scaled gold stuff that we found a couple episodes back. Uh, I have a knockback sword actually, so I can try to knock some dudes into the void. I got my punch one power one bow here. Uh, I got a modest pickaxe, you know, so it's about iron level. And um, yeah, so yeah, let's just do it. Ah, yes, you know what this is? This used to be a main security gate we built past our side of Pinnacle Cavern to keep the gods and their forces out of our homeland. Do you remember when the gods told you about the battle that caused Frozen Fault to form? The one where we took something of value for them? Well, that same Trevor, tremor also affected this area and consequently threw this gate completely out of line. We didn't want it to go to waste, so now it's guarding the cyan paint. All I'm going to say is that I hope you have fun dying over and over again. New Maticit. Huh, okay, yep, yeah, seems we got a whole bunch of stuff here. I already brought some supplies with me, so... Uh, this one is actually better than all this stuff, and I mean... Yeah. I, I mean, it's good to have this stuff, but, you know, it's okay. I got what I need right now, so... Don't look down or do, honestly, we don't care. If I were you, I wouldn't take my best gear into this area. Yeah, I will take your word for it. And as expected, the uh, spawners are all primed. Map maker's notes. The fun path. Oh, I already know what this is going to be about. Do probably like put gas spawners all over the place. During construction, I was debating whether or not to put gas spawners in the wall or invisible ladders. After some consideration, I decided to do neither of these things. If you want to bridge or under pearl across, feel free. Just know that it's recommended to, for you to take the fun path, and if you don't, it'll probably take away from the map experience, especially if you're doing an LP, the sketch. Yes, I don't plan on doing that. Don't worry. I've done so many of these void areas at this point that, uh, come on. All right, fine. You won't get off. I'll make you get off. There you go. Yeah, this punch bow is uh, really nifty and nice to have. Yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and light the <clears throat> entire path. I don't know why there's no uh, mobs around here. I feel like there should be more mobs, but... There we go. Let's just go ahead and play our cards really safe. I don't need to make rails. Oh fuck, I need to time it right. Oh shit, I didn't time it at all. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be burning through a lot of arrows here, so... Okay, let's just... Oh, 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 hello there, bitch. There you go. And that should take care of him. Cool. Oh, no! Oh. Okay, actually, how did the zombie hit me so hard? <laughs> That's the real question. How did I get hit so hard? On top of that, the zombie thing literally spawned like three waves within five seconds. What? 
Okay, well, see, this is why I didn't take my good shit with me. Because I knew that some dumb shit was going to happen and I was going to get knocked off. Uh, do I have any more knockback weapons in here? Let me see. Uh, I guess this is okay. I can use that. Um, I got some punch ones over there, so I can use that. Yeah, I wish I had the power, though, because it, otherwise it's going to take me like three tries to. Okay, to be honest with you, I don't think I need... Yeah, I have so much food, it doesn't even matter. Plus the pickaxes, whatever. Oh, we'll take this one. Let me see. Oh, I need another water bucket. Yeah, see, when I don't take my best stuff, it's not really that bad. See, it's for some reason, every time I die in this map, it's because I keep getting cucked by stupid shit. <laughs> Literally, I keep getting cucked. Like, those zombies just came out of nowhere. I was like, what the hell? I put light down, uh, the, I unprimed the thing, and then I still get fucked. So it's like, what do I do, right? Um, let's take some some of this stuff. I just, I just need something to keep me safe. Okay, note to self, uh, sketch is big gay, pretty much. I highly doubt I'm going to need, uh, oh, actually, you know what, hold on, let me go back real quick. I probably should bring some ladders in case. I feel like that would be a good idea. Yeah, he was right, I, like, taking, taking your best stuff is a really bad idea in this map, honestly. We're just gonna, yeah, I don't, I don't need a, <laughs> I don't even know why I took a shovel and a axe in there. So, but here's the thing, I'm not upset because, I mean, we have so much stuff in our chest that it's like, you know, finally I get to actually use some of it for once. Let me get my drink here. Ah, got another one of my Zero Ultras. And yes, I know it's a boomer drink, okay? But it tastes good. <laughs> it tastes good. Yeah, this is actually some really good leather leather gear. Okay, let me actually take like two stacks because I'm pretty sure I'm going to be using this a lot. Yeah, that is, uh, that is quite annoying, honestly. Okay, this time you better not spawn. There you go. Ugh. Yeah, I kind of have to wing it. Otherwise... Yeah, and I need to get both sides just to make sure that Cause I don't want to leave spawners out here, especially when... See, now they're not spawning anything. <laughs> okay, I got my punch bow. Not to worry. There you go, there you go. See? Just like that. And we're gonna run around just like this. And knock you off. Cool. Uh, you're spinning pretty slowly, so I think it's safe to Okay, we got a spider spawner somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, flak vest. Okay, that's a... Uh... Oh, wow. 0 0.1 knockback resistance. I think I'll, I'll take it. I was thinking of saving it, but I think I'll take it because... The more knockback resistance I have, the better my chances of... Yeah. Of not getting cucked over. There you go. Oh my god. That is a lot of spiders. I 
I'm going to break these spawners even though I feel like I don't really need to just because they might come creep up on me from out of nowhere. Yeah, we're just going to keep knocking dudes off just like this. There you go. Um Okay. I don't think they're coming for me. Yeah, they're not coming for me explicitly. Oh shit. It's really hard to hit these dudes with a bow and arrow, honestly. Oh shit. Uh, that zombie spawner should not be spawning anything, uh, that'll endanger me if, if I'm standing right here. Oh, that one actually hasn't spawned anything in a while. Just need to check to make sure there's no skellies. Those are the, those are the bad guys. Okay, yep, there we go. I was waiting for you to spawn. And yeah, also, I checked the saturation levels, and, um, so, bread, baked potatoes, and cooked chicken, they all return the same amount of saturation points, which is 1.6, which is, uh, you know, d like, right in the middle, so it's good, but not great. Great is for something like steak, pork chops, uh, spider eyes, actually, <laughs> so... That's why I eat spider eyes because of how good the saturation is. And um, yeah, that gives you 2.6, which is pretty good. And then you have the uh, the really, really good stuff, which is obviously the enchanted golden apples. And I think golden carrots are in that category as well. Okay, you guys are not nice. Oh, did he did he get knocked in? Can't I can't tell. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is just block this. Yep, and that's why because I don't want to accidentally run in to something. There you go. Oh, wow. These guys have some really bad accuracy. Holy shit. Oh. You tried it. Ha! <laughs> Loser. Nope. Oh, wait, what? Wow. Wow, he actually hit me. <laughs> God damn it. I keep I keep getting cocked. What the fuck? This is so dumb, dude. I keep wasting food, that's the thing. And I lost my flak fist. See? It so it doesn't even matter what I take. I'm gonna get knocked off anyways, so what's the point? Fuck it, right? Man, whatever. Yeah, literally, I've died five times now, and every single time is because right as I'm next to a spawner or about to do something important, some fucking mob comes out from nowhere and just cucks the shit out of me. <laughs> it's actually so dumb. It's half comedic and half irritating, so I don't know if I should be laughing or crying. Probably both. It's the best way to mask your pain. Thank you for this armor though. Means a lot. Well, he wasn't lying about us dying over and over again. Uh, I don't think the water bucket was actually going to do anything for me, so... Uh, that should be good enough. Uh, fuck it, I'll take a 
pickaxe here. Uh, arrows. Oh, shit, I forgot to go get torches. Good thing I made a whole bunch early on. Yeah, I don't think I need ladders, though, because he already gives them to us, for us. I don't, it's just, I don't usually die this much to void this fast. I've already died two times and it's barely even been like 10 minutes, I think. Yeah, it's literally only been 15 minutes. It's actually pretty fucking stupid. Fortunately though, I have so much iron that, I don't know why I'm making these buckets, honestly, but I guess it's there if I need it. Yeah, if I was smart though, I would have actually no. I don't even think uh, throwing an ender pearl would have helped me at all. Okay, well now I have to play super safe because otherwise, it's pretty clear I'm going to get completely cucked over. I probably should stop talking so much and just play, honestly. I feel like the reason why I'm dying so much is because I'm talking. And I guess in some maps you just can't afford to talk. Yeah, that knockback resistance literally didn't help for shit, though. <laughs> it literally didn't help at all. Yeah, I've been getting really unlucky these past two episodes. Okay, so note to self, never, ever break a spawner until they spawn. Yeah, so now I'm going to have to play super, super safe. Oh, why am I not surprised there's witches now? Okay, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. <laughs> that actually scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, see, there's so many of them spawning, man. It's uh, quite annoying. God, you are so annoying. There we go, that takes care of them, finally. Yeah, I'm like really paranoid right now. Just please go away. Honestly, just go away. See, they just keep spawning out of nowhere. It's so annoying. Yeah, let's just block these holes up. The good part about this area, though, is that once I break the spawners, everything is uh, pretty safe. Because there's no mobs around. Since there's uh, so little place to... S oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Who's shooting at me? Oh, 
Okay. Uh, I'm not even going to go for any chest because... Yeah, I'm literally not going to go for a single chest right now because I need to... Let me see. I need to take care of the spawner first. Fucking A, man. Yeah, I'm just gonna straight up. I gotta go quick though. Can't just sit here, you know, forever. Otherwise that gas is gonna spawn. I thought that would have uh, taken that, that skeleton out. I guess not. There you go. There it is. There's that fucking gas spawner. How did I actually manage to kill... Oh shit, I got him. Yeah, see, now I'm safe. They can't touch me. Even if they tried it. They can try as hard as they want. Oh god, no. Anything but you guys. Okay, I'm gonna use this as my little force field. <laughs> To keep me safe. This is why I want a power bow. Ah, and this is why I hate. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, I'ma just uh, run on back. Okay. Gotta make sure they don't hit me off. Okay, now I can go for the chest, I think. There shouldn't be any mobs around here. So... I need to run back so I can let the mobs despawn, because otherwise I'm just going to be wasting resources and stuff. Also, my sword is going to break, that's why. But see, this is why I don't... This is why I want power on my bow, otherwise it takes so many hits to kill him. Uh, I'll take the fire, because... Yeah, I was just wondering, though, when the blazes are going to show, because it was only a matter of time, to be honest with you. But... No more mobs spawning around here, so I can safely take the loot. And, uh, pretty much, yeah. This is going to be a long episode, I can already tell. At least it's going to feel long. Now let's just take this shit with us, though. Oh shit. Actually, that loot chest right there was just what I needed if I was gonna... Um, for the blocks, it's kind of just what I needed. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any more. Um, let me see here. Gotta throw some stuff here. Give me some more arrows, please. Yeah, that potion of fire resistance is actually probably going to be really helpful. Ah, at a certain point. Yeah, I'm going to take this with me because I don't know uh, when this one's going to break. 
but I hope I went far enough away so that uh, you know these guys won't be able to uh, hit me or sorry they won't be able to sorry what what am I even saying what I meant to say is so that these guys don't uh, so that these guys despawn that's what I was trying to say sorry about that Whew. okay I was just checking to see if this uh, arrow count thing works so this is my little arrow tracker. Should you know, let's start using this sword here. Yeah, having that gas bonner gone is a big relief because those gas will come up at the worst times and just make everything ten times worse than it already is. already secured all this stuff so holy shit this goes on for a while though such a really long area okay what Okay, let's just quickly break that. Actually, I'm gonna stand right here. Yep, those blazes are really annoying. Those blazes would have made things way worse, way worse. Can't get the chest because I'm gonna activate the gas by accident and I don't want to uh, There you go, that takes care of him, and another guest shouldn't be spawning for a good minute. That's the thing I like about the gas spawners though, is that, uh, oh, the visual bug's gone. <laughs> okay, anyways, yeah, that's one of the things I like about the gas spawners, is that number one, they can only spawn one at a time, and number two, uh, it's really easy to predict or because usually when it's primed you have like a one or two second window to prepare yourself so if you have a power ball all you need to do is just sit there and slowly approach and then once it spawns just immediately shoot it and it's dead uh, and number three once it spawns it won't spawn another one for a good while okay let's leave some stuff in here that like that 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 and that yeah, so pretty much let's take nothing. I'm just glad I was able to restock a little bit on my supply of... Okay, let me... I gotta first examine the surrounding area. God damn it, I keep knocking these guys onto the platform. Yeah, sometimes punch will overshoot it, so... Where's my ladder? Wait! First I need to make sure that... Uh... Okay, whew. if a spider spawned there, I might have actually died again. But fortunately, there was no spiders. I think it's because I already unprimed it, that's why. Oh boy. Ah, oh, you broke the ladder, you asshole! Yeah, I'm... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, my God, what? I accidentally pressed Q. Okay, I fat-fingered. Shit! Okay, I need ladders. I need ladders. Hold on. Give me this one. I'm going to need these if I want to go back. Let's see here. That guy actually sees me. That's not good. Come on, just die. Holy shit. That is a lot of creepers. Wow. Fortunately, I can just one-shot them all off the... Uh... 
the platform. There you go. Nice and simple. So let's go ahead and fix the ladders real quick. There you go. Is my, oh, one of them was actually still around. Cool. Nope. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen, you fucking piece of shit. Stop breaking the ladders. What the? I knew that was gonna happen. The moment I... The bridge out, it's gonna spawn. I... How did I know? Oh god, I almost ran the wrong way. Hold on. Let me get to my little safety hole. Whoops. There you go. Let's see here. Okay, ladder is okay. <laughs> Don't panic, everybody. The ladder is fine. Oh, shit. Why is this one at full durability? That is weird. Okay, at least we managed to uh, unprime that, so... Yeah, the fucking tension is so high right now. Oh boy. There you go. Yeah, I need to make sure I don't run the wrong way. Actually, I should be torching the spawner itself. I don't know why I'm not doing that. There you go. Now let's uh, not deal with those silverfish. They might... Uh... They might cuck us when we're not looking. Oh, and I got cucked! I got cucked! I got cucked! Come on then, you bitch! Come on! Whew! How did I know that would happen? Totally didn't see it coming or anything. It's like this game is just trying to be unfair at this point. Okay, I managed to at least torch the spawner, so I think... Yeah, let's go for these, since they literally just spawned. Oh, fuck. Yeah, breaking that torch was not a hot idea. Oh, man, really? <sighs> Fucking blaze again? Yeah, I just can't be asked with Blaze. I'm not even going to. The thing is, I have a punch bow, so... I have a punch bow with no power, which means that it's going to be uh, even harder to kill the Blaze, so... I'm just going to go back instead. Although, yeah, I can see that guy. He's looking at me. Okay, they're gone. He, he despawned. <laughs> Let's refuel a little bit. Whew. Okay. He despawned. I think they all despawned. Oh, well, except that one. What the fuck is wrong with him? Okay, I've hit that guy at least like five times now. What? Okay, let's go ahead and reload the chunk. Yeah, that is very odd. There we go. Okay, you know what? Just as long as you go away, just just go away and never talk to me again. 
That's all I ask of you. There we go. There. Okay, that blaze despawned, which is really good for me. Okay, let's quickly run back and shoot this fucker off. Oh, okay, or he can just walk off. That's fine with me too. I see skellies, let's shoot them all off. Need to make sure I'm not getting cucked from behind. What, what is with me missing these long range dudes? I'm sure I'm hitting them. There you go. Yeah, I just burned through a lot. Holy. Uh, there's some over there. Yeah, I need to just keep knocking these dudes off. Otherwise, I'm going to get uh, snuck up on from behind. Okay, I'm not scared of him. Because I have a thing behind me. Oh, boy. Here we go. Round fucking two of this shit already. Oh, I need to go back and <laughs> get the rest of my arrows. Because uh, I burned a lot of arrows trying to do that. So, let's see. Oh, wait. Actually, I can do this. Yep. Don't know how that guy spawned, but I guess they take advantage of every little dark spot they have. Okay, now no mob should spawn over there. Oh, I probably should fix those as well, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna fix those. Quite obvious that there may be spawns over there. Yeah, you gotta be careful, man. When it's void, they'll take any little spot that they can find. So. We're doing good, though. We're doing good. We're not getting cucked anymore, thankfully. Burning through a lot of food, though, so I may have to go back for that. But I think those blazes should have despawned by now. I went more than far enough away for them to start despawning. Still, we technically still haven't even burned through our first stack that we brought with us. We just continued replenishing it. <sighs> yes, okay, they're all gone. That is exactly what I wanted. And I think, yeah, that's the last spawner that's here. So once I take care of those, those blazes, then this will be another safe area I've made. And then after that, I have to deal with a couple skellies, which are actually quite a lot easier to deal with than blazes, because skeletons can't fly. There we go. So we'll just straight up. I think those are, okay. That's a skeleton up there. Weird, I should be hitting that guy. What's with my aim? I keep going around him. Does he have some force field or some shit? Do it. Do it. There you go. And the one in the middle is a wither skilly spawner. So.
What the? Why are they so glitchy? Weird. Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna get knocked off. Please, 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 please. Oh no, don't kill me, no! Oh shit, I'm fine. Wow, they're actually stupid. <laughs> they hit each other off, not me. Hey, I mean, I'll take it. If y'all wanna do that, then be my guest, please. Please kill each other. <laughs> please, I beg of you. Yeah, I'm just scared these withers are going to run up on me when I'm not looking. See? You see? Just like that. Yeah, I'm not going to... I mean, I, if I really wanted to be safe, let's be real, I could make rails out of the entire thing. But that would, number one, be a, such a big waste of blocks. And number two, um, it would take way too much time. And number three, as you can see, once I break the spawners, I don't even need them anyways. Oh shit, I see the fleecy over there. Okay, good, 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 good. I know there's spawners up on there though. Yeah, let's just go ahead and fill this in. Because I am not looking to die. I need more blocks anyway, so let's go get some. Whew, yeah. It's getting hot in here, dude. It's getting real hot. We actually haven't really, um, what do you call it? We haven't at all used our sword since, uh, since the, uh, since we accidentally fat finger dropped it. So I just, I just thought I'd say, sorry. Anyways. We're really close though, we're really close. Um, I do want to uh, extend the fire potions though, so I think we should do that. I also want to mix up this power, or a power bow with a, my punch bow, so that way I have, uh, you know, I can two-shot them in case. So that way I don't have to waste arrows as, mu as frequently. I'll still be wasting them because, hey, no one's perfect, but... Yeah, I need to get some more torches too. Well, I, actually, I don't really think I need more torches. Now that I think about it. But I do want to go back and extend my potions. Uh, I forgot though, is it redstone or I think glowstone extends it and then redstone takes it up a level. Fire resistance, eight minutes. Redstone, okay, no, redstone takes it up to the next level and then uh, glowstone, yeah. You already know what glowstone does. Takes it to the next level. So redstone extends the duration, sorry. Glowstone takes it to the next level and then, uh, what's the other one called? Um, Gunpowder turns it into a splash potion. Do I have brewing stands? Let me check. Let me check. I do, okay, cool. So let's go ahead and do that then. Actually, hold on. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't have another warp. Whatever. Huh. 
running a bit low on food here, so let's take some some of this fish. Where is my power? I have a power here. There we go. 14, what? Okay, 12, I guess. That works. Why do I have another one of these? Why do I have so many of these all of a sudden? What the fuck? <laughs> Why do I have so many? Weird. Weird beard, bro. Weird beard. I'm feeling a bit lucky right now. I'm actually going to use this one here. Because the wooden one is going to break if I use it too much. So I don't want that to happen. Uh, I also need some more blocks. So let's do that. Fire resistance. Oh, shit. Actually, how much more do we have? Oh, we had another fire resistance of three minutes. Fuck. I guess we can... Uh, let me see here. I'm trying to see if I have anything else that I'd like to uh, increase the duration of. I guess. There you go. I think I have some more redstone in here. Yeah, so it's not even that bad, honestly. We Gucci, man. We Gucci. Feels a little weird, though, having so many empty slots in our inventory. I'm so used to having, like, like a fucking complete, complete toolkit ready to go. Wow, we've been at this for almost 50 minutes now. Holy. <laughs> now nah, I'm feeling lucky, boo. I'm feeling lucky. Why did I just hear a skeleton? Where did I hear a skeleton from? Okay. I don't know what the point of all those jack-o'-lanterns is, to be honest with you, but... Yeah, I'll use this fire resistance if I have to deal with like 50 million blazes. Because then at that point, I just can't be asked to uh, break their... Well, I mean, then I can break their spawners without having to worry about them hitting me off. Only thing is I'll have to watch out that uh, to make sure I don't touch them. What's my video settings? I'm on 5, that's why. Yeah, this is actually quite a lot. It's a lot of ground that I covered, so I'm glad I was able to do that. This is the fourth intersection though, so <laughs> if it wasn't going to pick up now, when was it? So give me these three blocks so that I can fill in the remaining hole. Actually, hold on, wait. Let me check. Yeah, there's some torches in here, I'll take those gladly. Oh boy, thunder. Speaking of thunder in Minecraft, have you guys ever actually gotten a naturally spawned super nat supercharged creeper in vanilla Minecraft without cheating it in through some spawner or something? I have yet to see that actually happen in vanilla Minecraft, just completely unexpected. Yeah, I'm super glad the walls are lit up. Otherwise, having to deal with skeletons on the walls would be 
just so annoying that, um, yeah, it would just be a pain in the ass. As if this level isn't already. Okay, we didn't miss any spots here, yeah. <gasps> oh, shit. Nope. Okay, these blocks are actually so dark. What? Okay. And now is when we start bridging, or now is when we start railing across. Yeah, sorry, I'm not gonna be fucking... I don't want to risk getting knocked off, that's the thing. Only downside to this is that it's going to take so many blocks. Yeah, you see I'm already down by so many blocks. There we go. What in the... Okay, that's just... Fuck it, I don't care. <laughs> Literally. Just please let this area end already. Hey, you see? There's a skelly spawner right there. Yep. And they're all ready to knock me off. This is when you start using rails. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Yep, and look at how fast they're spawning. Sneaky little bitches. Yep, you can hear him. You can literally hear him just waiting to cuck me out. And, okay, I did not think I'd have to use this many blocks. Hold on. Doing this whole thing in... Without any sort of rails is super, super dangerous. So... Because you saw, like, there's literally almost no room to run back to. If you're screwed, you're screwed, literally. Or if you get n hit even once, you're... You're completely done for, and I'm not willing to take that chance. Especially not when I have, uh, you know, quite a lot of good stuff on me, including this sword. Yeah, base iron swords are not very good, though. When it comes to fourth intersection stuff. Because I, I need an enchantment table. That's the thing. If I don't have an enchantment table. Then I can't make good iron swords. Let's go ahead and throw that down there. And that down there. Yeah, I'm going to need at least two to three stacks of blocks for this area, honestly. I think I have enough. Yeah, we have two stacks. I'll take the rest of the blocks, honestly. Don't want to play it too safe. Fuck, I completely ran out of arrows too, really? That is a really bad potion to use in this area. I'm going to let you know that right now. 
of all the potions you want to use in this area, um, whatever it's called, um, uh, fuck, I forgot. What is it called? Um, speed is not the one you want to use, and especially not speed fucking three. <laughs> You are just destined to fall off. Not liking this thunderstorm though. I don't think it should affect me though cause the cause of the roof. So And he did say I can technically bridge across this whole thing if I want to, but then it, that just literally, he was, he's right, it literally just takes away the whole point of the area, which is to risk the void. But the thing is, there's so many of these void areas that it's unoriginal, man. Come on. You could have done better than this. You could have done better. You done goofed, man. You done goofed. I have to bring that gas to your back so I can make some good regen potions. Not going to have you ruining my day, Mr. Tarantula. Let's light up some of these darker spots so that skeletons can't cuck us from a distance. That should help. Here we are. The grand finale. Part of me wishes I had an ender pearl and I could literally just TP over there. Oh. Yep, you see? You see, if I didn't have the rail there, I would have been dead. But I do have the rail, so I'm not dead. See how that works? Yeah. It's called mad skills, dog. Mad fucking skills. Whoops. Wasting blocks like there's no tomorrow. Get that last charge out of the way. Oh, God. Okay, I would have definitely gotten knocked off if I didn't have some quick reflexes. Damn. Whoa, what? Okay, let's just run away. Okay, chill. Just literally just relax for like two seconds, please. There you go. Holy shit. Come on. Are you serious? What is this bullshit? This is actually complete bullshit. What is this? Are you kidding me right now?
I, I probably should drink the potion, honestly. I have eight minutes of it. Fuck it. Let's drink the potion. They can't touch me. They can't do anything to me. Still can't help but be scared a little bit, but... Yeah, you know how AIDS this would be if I had to actually do this without a fire resistance potion? Like, wow, this would be AIDS. I want to get them all away from the spawner, though. Because I don't... They can still harm me if they touch me. There you go. Okay. Okay, no. Stop lagging. Stop lagging. Okay, that is bad. Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> Very bad. Those gas shouldn't be a problem. I should be able to one-shot him. So, I can just go straight got him coach on their ass. Yeah, these rails are probably overkill now that I think of it. Actually, that was the only blaze spawner this in this whole place, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought there would be way more. I guess not, though. And here we are. Now we're in skeleton range. And this is why I made the things in the first place. Because I know they're going to spawn right as I get there. And when they do, yup. It's going to be like 50 of them. Whoops. There you are. I really like the punch bow in this area though. It makes things a lot easier. At least they don't spawn on any other platform besides that one. There we go. I'm still going to make rails though, even though there's no more skelly spawners. Because otherwise... Otherwise, the gas might knock me off. Yeah, I'm going through a lot of blocks. Holy shit. <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me. This drink is just too good, man. Let's see. So... Yeah, and if I have this, then... Oh, you see? You see, there, that is another skeleton spawner. What do you know? Okay, thank you, skeleton. I was scared of making that Enderman angry. Yeah, so it turns out there was more than one. Yep, and if I... This is why I make rails. <laughs> I know what I'm doing, guys. I, 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 do, I really do. Even though it, sometimes it may not seem like I know, I do trust, trust. Yeah, that is way too dangerous. Oh, that would have been tragic if I got knocked off, even with the rails. Oh shit, I didn't notice you were there. Yeah, I'm not leaving this unattended to because... You 
Because otherwise they're going to knock me off if I try to go over there. And I don't want to leave this here when I'm trying to break gas spawners, you know? Don't want them to uh, get some free shit off of me. Boom, there we go. Whew. That was crazy. Oh, there's a chest behind too. Yep. That happened. Where is he? There he is. Cyan paint. Let's just take everything and leave. Because I am out of blocks and I can't afford to sit here. Bridging. There we go. We're done. Cool. Fire resist is still going. Holy. <laughs> Eight minutes really is a long time. No wonder this potion's so fucking overpowered. Then again, there's not really any way to nerf it. Whew. We're done though. We're finally fucking done with this stupid area. I hate void, dude. I really hate the void. Oh my god. If I fell off there, I would have been so sad. Actually, hold on. I need to go back here and, uh... Oh, yeah, I never checked this chest. What is this? Punch three. Okay, that would have been a useful bow. That would have been so useful. It had the power, too. Wow. That would have actually been way more useful than the one I have right now. Not saying that the one I have now isn't useful, you know. Because it was useful. I was able to, uh... You know, obliterate some cheeks with it, but possibly could have saved a lot of arrows. Whatever, whatever. All that matters is that I won. I win, and there's nothing you can do about it. So suck my dick and have a nice day. Cookies, yay, I have some victory cookies. Whew. Yeah, that was one intense fucking episode. So that's five deaths now. <laughs> All due to stupid shit. But you know what? It, it's okay. I didn't lose anything too good. It was decent loot at best. It's not like I lost like a sharpness three sword. That would have been bad. I am sad though that I lost my flak vest, but alas, I have other things back at the base that'll help me. Actually, no, the next area is the projectile haven thing, right? Fuck, maybe it would have been a good idea after all. Whatever. Too late for regrets. Give me this, 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 that. Yeah, I'm going to be taking all this shit, man. All of it. What is this anyways? Sharpness 4, Knockback 2, Fire Aspect 4. One of them gives me max health. Another one gives me 5% uh, speed. Wow. This thing is going to die. Actually, I want this. Fuck the punch bows. I don't even like punch. Fuck that. <laughs> Well, actually, I don't. I don't need the. Um, I don't need the blaze rod, so I guess I'll take one of them. But yeah, so that's it. We're done. Finally done. 
with that. So next time we are going to take on the projectile haven. Um, I don't think I need to farm any more food. I think I have a whole bunch of food. Let me check to make sure. Uh, I mean, I could, I could actually make a whole lot more bread and baked potatoes. I'm going to do that, actually. What in the... What? Hey, give me, give me more coal. What the fuck? Hold on. There you go. Got to refuel our supplies here, man. There and there. Cool. Oh yeah, also I made a few torches off camera, so that way I can just resupply. So let's see. Oh yeah, this is my good armor that I'm going to use. Although I do want to use a, some projectile protection for the next area. Yeah, I'm actually going to use that because fire protection and blast isn't really going to help me that much. Um, hmm, let me see. That's actually a good one. I'm going to use this. Uh, projectile, projectile. I mean, I have this, but it's almost dead. And I think it's really expensive to repair. Oh, actually, not really. Wow. Hold on, do I have an empty one? I think I have an empty one somewhere here. Ah, fuck it, I'll just make one. Hold on, let me see here. Oh boy, here we go again with this glitch. Not sure why it happens, but... I don't like it. Yeah, that's going to help me a ton. So let's see, one, five, eight. If I could have some projectile pants. Well, I mean, I guess that's okay. That's not bad. So let me see. Let's just throw some more shit in here. Actually, yeah, let's do that, do that. So anyways... Uh, while I'm doing all this, uh, pretty much, yeah, so this is going to be the end of the episode. Thank you guys for sticking by. Um, next time we're going to take on Projectile Haven, like I mentioned earlier. And, um, yeah, so until next time, guys, take care and have a good one. Peace.